Hi guys, and welcome back for another episode of the Madden 08 PC Instructional Series. I'm uh, taking a slight jog away from Madden 08 PC in this video, but it is on a related subject. I've been asked before what program and settings that I use for recording my gameplay, so I wanted to make a short video on my current settings for recording. Now, the program that I use is called Open Broadcaster Studio, or OBS for short. I've linked a website in the description for the free program, as well as a gentleman named Leslie Samuel at www.becomeablogger.com that has done a brilliant job of making tutorials on how to stream with OBS and you'll see that in the background. The only thing that seems to be missing is recording settings. He focuses on streaming a lot, so if that's your gig, <laughs> then this is the website for you. I wanted to focus a little more on the recording settings though. In this video, I'm going to go at this assuming that you have downloaded OBS installed it and have listened to some of his content on how to set up scenes and sources it's definitely worth the time to get to know how OBS works so on the bottom right hand corner of the OBS screen you'll see menu buttons and if you click on settings you'll be presented with a number of options to set the first is the general settings. I don't mess with anything on this page except for the color of the theme. I chose this Ricini theme. I'm, I'm only assuming that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if it's not. Uh, because I like how it's dark and with the different colors I can see things a lot better. You can fine tune it to whatever settings you like the best in the drop down menu. Since we're not setting this up for streaming, I'll skip that one. But like I said, if you do want to do that, um, Leslie Samuel goes over that very well. The bulk of my changes are under the Output tab. Recording, to my knowledge, is a different animal because we deal with a lot of fast-moving data, unlike just streaming a podcast like Leslie is doing. So here are those settings. You need to give your videos a home to live in. So you do that by browsing to the recording path. Remember that I can't change any of these settings because I'm recording with OBS and a lot of the fields are grayed out. Recording format gets changed to MP4 format. You'll have a message pop up about the use of MP4, but I've never had any trouble with this and I've been using this program for well over a year now to do just this recording. You next set the audio tracks and track one will be your desktop. And if you have any external microphone like a snowball or something like that, a you and you plan on recording your voice at the same time as the game, you can set that up on track number two. And I'll show you how that gets done in a moment. But for now, just choose the number of tracks that you'll be using. Under the encoder setting, I have an NVIDIA graphics card and NVENC H264 is the best setting for me. Now, if you have a different GPU, then you may have to use a different setting here. Just choose from what's available. Rescale output is unchecked since I do my recording on a 1920 by 1080 monitor and no scaling is required with that. Keep in mind that if you have a smaller resolution screen that isn't capable of 1080p, then this may be different for you. Moving on to the rating setting, control settings, I've 
tried a lot of settings and I got this setting a long time ago from a video put out by Jack Frags and it has seemed to hold up nicely. Uh, Jack Frags you can you can look up on YouTube and his videos are there. Now he suggested CQP 18 that would provide the best quality and best performance that he could find and I've not been able to find a better setting than that. Everything else remains the default values on this page. Now moving on to the audio tab. The sample rate I change to 48 kilohertz and I change the desktop to my current speakers that I listen to the game with. In my case it's my headphones so I've chosen that. Here is where if you choose to have your voice in the recording you may choose to change a mic audio device depending on what you want to record with. I do all my voice recording with a separate editing program called Vegas Movie Studio Platinum so I don't change any of this. It's just the game audio that I'm recording with OBS. Everything else on this tab remains unchanged. Moving on to the video tab, there is no need for me to scale the recording since I'm recording on a 1920 by 1080 monitor. But if you were recording on say a 16 by 900, 1600, by 900 monitor like my extended monitor you would scale it down to 1280 by 720 remember you can never go up you can only go down my downscale filter is Lanxos and that seems to give me the best quality picture and of course you must record this game in 60 FPS or frames per second 30 just isn't going to look good. There is way too much action going on to get a good picture in 30 FPS. Moving on to the hotkeys tab. You can set the record, start, and stop hotkeys. Mine is the key on the number row to the far left. It doesn't correspond to anything in my other programs and that is what I use. And I suggest if you're going to use a hotkey, it doesn't correspond to anything that you use on a fairly frequent basis anyway. You can set this to whatever you like though uh, just so that it works for you. And finally we come to the advanced tab and I change absolutely nothing on this page. I really don't understand most of this stuff in advance and therefore don't recommend any changes unless you know what a setting is for. And there you have it, my settings for recording Madden 08 with OBS. If you want to delve deeper into OBS for streaming features, which I heard work beautifully, as I said, you can get a lot more information on Leslie Samuel's website there again at www.becomeablogger.com slash OBS and that should help you now thanks for watching folks i appreciate you watching all these videos and remember that if you enjoyed this video leave a like and if you want to be notified when the next one will be out you can find out by subscribing to my channel if you have any questions feedback or if you have suggestions on what you liked in future videos please leave those comments down below and I'll answer them. Thanks again for watching and until I see you in the next instructional video, so long for now and have a good day everyone.